School curriculum is often lagging behind uh, where it could be when you visit a rural school in uh, tropical Africa or tropical Asia, uh, helping uh, kids to understand what's happening with their climate, what's happening with the water problems, uh, food productivity, the challenges in their uh, agricultural communities uh, should be paramount because those are uh, skills that are desperately needed for sustainable development in the 21st century. Often the curriculum has come from the middle of the 20th century, sometimes even from the colonial uh, period, the precursor to independence. I find it a huge mistake for any rich country, I start with my own, the United States, not to be doing more. If we want a safe world, if we want a secure world, if we want a prosperous world, investing in education is so obviously a priority. You lose a child at a young age to school, they'll never make it up through their lives. So they're condemned to poverty and those societies are condemned to instability. huge breakthroughs in training in ways that weren't even imaginable just a few years before. And we see a lot of those models taking shape by very creative organizations and very creative NGOs, but then the question is to scale them worldwide. And that's what partnership with some of the world's major IT companies can mean, scale. And I want to press those companies, they are scaled, they're worldwide, they're some of the most important companies all over the world. They have to step forward and help solve these problems as well. That's their future, but it's also their responsibility.